so I was praying like uh, other Muslims five times a day and one day when I was uh, bowing my head on the ground, uh, putting my head on the ground and bowing my knees saying Subhana Rabbi al wa This is the verse that we say in Arabic when our head is on the ground. And I, uh, I, a revelation came to my mind and the, the question was, so why God is asking me to talk to him in a language that I don't know? Okay, so if you are God, you, you must know that I am Persian, I am, I'm, yeah, love, love, that's love, yeah, that's, that's something to love really about, and uh, yeah, I asked him, and I said, if you're God, you must know that I'm not Arab, why you expect me to talk to you in another, another language, and also, and uh, you want me to repeat things, every day, the same things, you know, I get bored if you talk, tell me the same things. But anyways, that revelation came to my mind and I said, oh, so that's silly. I'm not going to pray anymore. But I said something to God. I said, God, if you are alive, show yourself to me. Seven days after that, not praying to Allah anymore and waiting for God, a live God, to show himself to me, I had a dream from Jesus Christ. But not only me, my mother, my sister, and myself in the same night. We did have the same dream of Jesus Christ. <laughs> so Jesus, with two white papers, he came to our dream. And he said to my mom, Mary, her, her name is in Persian is Maryam, which is Mary in English, and said, I am Jesus Christ. Take you to these two white papers and pass them to Amin and Elham. Elham is my sister, and we were behind my mom. My mom got them and passed them to us. When she turned back to Jesus, I woke up. And that time was five o'clock in the morning. So I'm, I'm an engineer and numbers are important to me. I still remember and I tell you why. So I said, what's wrong, you know, who is Jesus? You know, as a Muslim, you, you think that Jesus is only a prophet. A uh, good prophet, prophet of love, actually that's what they tell us. And I said, what was those two white papers? And in the meantime, I was thinking about that. I heard my mom and my sister were crying in the other bedroom. I ran away to them and I said, what's wrong with you? Why you are you crying this time of the day? And they said, we did have a dream from Jesus <laughs> and I said S are you serious and they said yes and I said I had I had a dream about Jesus too please share it with me so when they shared with me I bowed my knees I joined them crying <laughs> I don't know for how long but I we cried and he said God what do you want to show us because we didn't have no information about Christianity the Bible is not a free book to buy in the bookstores in Iran. So you can't find Bible. But the story didn't finish here. God didn't leave us to this point. Five hours after that, 10 o'clock in the morning, one of our friends knocked the door and he came inside and he put a Farsi Persian Bible on the table. <laughs> and he said, I am sent by God to share this word with you. I want to tell you, Jesus is not only a prophet. Jesus Christ is the word of God. Whom became flesh. He came. He left heaven. He died on the cross for you and I. For those who come to believe in Him will be forgiven. And my mom stopped him and I said, he said, why you didn't share this before with us? Because we knew him for five years. You see? And, uh, and he said, I had to come today. And my mom said, we did have the same dream of Jesus Christ last night. And he said, what do you mean by we? said, me, my daughter, and my son. I mean, we did have the same dream of Jesus. And you're telling us about Jesus. What, what's going on? And he said, are you serious? What was that dream? And then my mom shared the dream. 
he bowed his knees and he cried for half an hour. He was weeping. We said, what's wrong with you? <laughs> and then he said, you know what? You said five o'clock in the morning you woke up mm -hmm. of that dream. Five a.m. I heard Jesus' voice in my room and he said, son, get up, take my word to Amin's house. They are ready to hear my word today. So the God that you and I, we are serving is a live God. Yeah. Even in the countries, clap for him. Worship him. Worship him. We clap him. Yes, he deserves that. So the God that we worship is coming to people's life, even in the countries that Christianity is forbidden.